think I was honored, really, find a home where I could stay and live and be. When I came over here, I wanted that chair along with me because that's been with me all my life, really. Makes me feel like I'm home. It's much better here than it was over there. I can do more here for myself. I can walk around, I go in the kitchen. Get some milk and some butter, kind of simmering. I love my room. I don't have to share that with no one. I have everything here to myself. Yeah, I feel safe here. To have my mother-in-law here is the next best thing to being at home. I'm ready to get a cup of coffee. It almost looks like you're walking into a living room. The bedrooms are off to the side, 10 private rooms with private baths, and there's always someone cooking. It's more of a very homey, warm setting. Don't you think we make a good pair? 91 and 95. Five. We still keep it going. The goal is a complete transformation of the way we currently deliver skilled nursing care. So we want to move from an institutional setting, the setting that when you or I walk into it, we think, please don't ever let me have to live here. And how to transform that into something warm and to create a home that you or I would walk into and think, I'd be happy living here because it's like the home I would have myself. Here's the problem with conventional long-term care. Conventional long-term care makes the doctors and nurses the star of the show. And so they're out in front. They're in the spotlight all the time. The greenhouse makes the elders stars of the show. They're the ones in the spotlight. And the nurses and doctors, they're still there, but they're backstage where they ought to be. We don't have a nursing station. Um, we have a little small area that we work out of in the library. We could provide just as good care, if not better, here because of the small environment. And we're interacting with them all throughout the time that we're here. And so we notice things. We notice if, if there's one little thing, if they've got a sniffle, we notice that. We know them so well. It's a holistic approach. There you go, and you got a perfect pulse, too. Just perfect all around kid. Yeah. You're a perfect 10. Very nice of you to say so. Running a greenhouse doesn't need to cost any more than running a traditional nursing home. In fact, some of our adopters are finding that it's somewhat less expensive because of the built-in efficiencies of the versatile worker, the self-managed work team. Of course, any long-term care setting you can either run over or under budget. So it does still require the organization to be very effective in the way they manage their operations. I think one of the misconceptions that, that I've heard uh, from others in the field about greenhouses is that it cannot be financially viable. How can serving 10 elders in a small environment, how can that really work? Well, it does work. And it's been demonstrated you know, not only in our organization, the growing organizations around the country that it can work, it can be financially viable, and clearly the quality of life, you know, is just superb. Greenhouse homes are staffed with a variety of different individuals who all play an important part in bringing the care and services to the home. The key team is a group of people that we call Shabazim, that's the plural of the word Shabazz. They provide care, they provide all the services that are needed within the home. The type of care that I'm able to provide here as a Shabazz is to nurture, protect, and sustain the elder. Is this green? Yes, that's green. Well, I'll play that one. I feel that our elders should be treated like diamonds. They should be treated with 
kindness, dignity, and respect. Shabbat. I love them all, but I have a couple favorites, of course. But I love every single one of them. You are good for In this situation, there's nobody that gets overlooked. Nobody, because we are all with them every day. And so I guess what draws me to that is that you can really be involved with them and make their life better. The Shabazz seem to see things a little better. They know those residents so well that when somebody's starting to not feel well or their appetite changes, they know immediately what's going on. The transition I've seen has been phenomenal. I've seen weight gain. I've seen residents on puree diets who've been on puree for years come off of it and start eating regular textures. And it's things like that that make this whole concept worthwhile. Are you guys getting hungry? I'm never afraid of sitting down on the couch and talking with somebody and looking over my shoulder to see if um, the boss is coming in to, you know, say, hey, what are you doing? Get to work, you know. Um, here, that is work. It's good to have somebody close to you. <laughs> if you need something, if you want to talk to them, you can. The Shabazim were like a family to my mother. They were like her own children. They were so sweet and tender and gentle and happy. She just radiated love. She said this place was her home. My mother lived here for probably one of the happiest years of her life. She had her 101st birthday and what she wanted for her birthday, she told everyone, was a cigarette and a margarita. When she died, one of the hardest things was the grieving of the Shabazim and the nurses. I, we didn't expect that. We got really attached to her, and, and she really, really, really loved Tupac, my dog. And the night after she passed, Tupac went into her room and curled up on her recliner. and. Uh, I went in there and I kind of, I kind of lost it a little bit, um, because you know he was missing her companionship as well as as we were. Our family believed that people living here, it extends their life. I do not think she would have lived a whole nother year had she not moved over here. And I, I really have I appreciate that. a greenhouse unique and special is really the people. It's not about the house, it's about the people that make the house a home, and that is people who are committed to really embracing the philosophy of helping an elder to live their best possible life. Once you experience the change that occurs with the elders and with their family members, it will be very affirming that you've done the right thing, and that uh, the only regret that you'll have is having not done it earlier. When I think about accomplishments in my profession, uh, there's no question. This is the one that I'm proud of. This is one time where you can say, life got better because we did this. It's just home, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? It's home. <laughs>